Hello everybody, how are you doing? In this web view, I'm going to be discussing phase 3 of my New York Rail Modernization Master Plan. Phase 3 involves upgrading tracks between the Bronx and Queens to allow Amtrak and Metro North Railroad trains to run directly from the main la mainland including Bronx, Westchester and beyond all the way directly to Long Island, both of which have very high populations. It will also involve extending the air train LaGuardia, which is currently proposed from Willits Point to LaGuardia itself. I've extended that to Elmer's Junction and Queen Central. Elmer's Junction will directly serve travelers going to and from both New England and Long Island. And Queen Central, as you saw in my last video, connects to nearly all the railway lines in the New York metropolitan area, and you can take a train to nearly anywhere from here. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So what I aim to do with this rail modernization project is to uniform New York's disjoint rail systems to provide a more seamless travel experience for urban and suburban commuters alike. So this is New York's current rail system. So the key is below for reference. So what the deal is, is we have two main stations, Penn Station and Grand Central. Grand Central serves the Metro North trains and as you can see besides the west of Hudson Metro North which are not much of a factor here, all the Metro North trains go into Grand Central and only Grand Central. There's no connection from the Metro North Railroad to New Jersey or to Long Island. In addition, Penn Station seems like a through station but in reality only the Amtrak trains can pass through directly. In fact, the station is architecturally designed so that New Jersey transit trains must terminate in the lower seven platforms, while the Long Island Railroad trains must terminate in the upper seven platforms. They do lead to the west side yard, but there's no track going directly from these upper tracks here on the East River Tunnels to the West River Tunnels. And from the Hudson River Tunnels to the east, it's only Amtrak. There are also other junctions, for example, Hoboken and Atlantic Terminal, but they their main purpose is to connect to subway lines serving lower Manhattan. So there are no through stations in Manhattan besides Amtrak and no commuter rail directly serves lower Manhattan. In addition, it is very difficult to go from the Metro North area to the Long Island area or the Long Island area to the New Jersey area or vice versa. So this is what the system is like currently and I have planned three phases to make the system be like this. This is a master plan. So what I've done is I've through run trains all the way through the entire system. So from Newark, in addition to the New Jersey Transit and Amtrak, also Metro North and Long Island Railroad will start. All four services have the option to go via the existing alignment through Secaucus and Penn Station which will be widened to four tracks or they can go to the lower Manhattan alignment which goes via Newport in Jersey City and the World Trade Center before going back up to meet the main Northeast Corridor line in Queens. They meet together at Queens Central which is a big railway hub. I talked about it last video. I've actually made some changes to that I'm going to show you soon. But this is a big railway hub. Its main purpose is to unify many commuters from the northern suburbs and the eastern suburbs and allow them to go to their final destination, whether it be Lower Manhattan, Midtown Manhattan, or via subway to a more specific destination. Additionally, I have added this East Bergen link here, which goes to East Bergen County and all the way up Eastern Rockland County, just west of the Hudson River, all the way up to the West Point and Newburgh, New York area. That is a little far-fetched, but I've added, added that here as well. Finally, you can notice that I connected these here. So the Hudson line and the Harlem line connect and the New Haven line connects to the Harlem line much farther north than this diagram depicts. But I've connected these through what will be a tunnel. So this will allow all Metro North trains and Amtrak trains going from both New England and the Hudson line to go into Queens directly. They will stop at a new station in Port Morris, Astoria, and Elmer's Junction and Maspeth before 
going on to the main line in Forest Hill and Kew Gardens before going to Jamaica. These trains will terminate in Jamaica because a Long Island Railroad main line gets really crowded as it narrows to two tracks after that. In addition, we have this yellow here. This is the air train. As you could tell, the initial air train from LaGuardia to Willits Point has been extended under my proposal to go to Elmer's Junction and Queen Central. The reason I'm stopping this at Elmer's Junction is because people coming from all of the Metro North and all of Long Island can take this direct train or at least transfer in Jamaica to take a direct train to Elmer's Junction, which is much more direct than having to go to Willits Point or go into Queen Central. Additionally, this line will serve to Queen Central where it will meet several different subway lines as well as all these railway lines going to all these places here. So Queen Central will serve all of them and all the LaGuardia people can come into here as well. Finally, I may have not mentioned this, but there is a tunnel connection between Penn Station and Grand Central to allow through running of Long Island Railroad trains and to allow New Jersey customers to go directly to Grand Central without having to switch trains. I think I got everything. I'll leave this up for around a couple more seconds so you get this in. So this is a current New York layout. So we have two hubs, operationally three distinct termini. Penn Station is not a through station besides Amtrak, as I already said, and there's no regional railway hub located in lower Manhattan. So phase one and two I made in the last three videos to rectify this problem. I construct, it, it involves the construction of east side access, which is a tunnel connecting from the Long Island Railroad directly into a station below Penn Station and this would connect to Penn Station North which is directly north of Penn Station and into a four track Hudson River Tunnel. There will be two new tracks, two new tunnels. Additionally, unified rolling stock would make Penn Station a through station in addition to reconfiguring the tracks to allow this. Finally, in phase two, it would involve the construction of a new regional railway line through Lower Manhattan. That one I made two videos ago where it goes from the Secaucus area directly to Lower Manhattan via a stop near the Oculus Mall in the World Trade Center and back up to Queen Central. The reason I didn't just connect a line between Hoboken and Atlantic Terminal is because one, the line at line leading into Atlantic Terminal is extremely narrow and outdated. It would take a lot of work to upgrade that and two, the alignment from Queen Central to Secaucus allows both Metro North and Amtrak trains to use it as well. It's not just limited to Long Island Railroad trains. So trains coming from the northern suburbs can serve directly Lower Manhattan without passing through Midtown Manhattan. So Queen Central was a big part of Phase 2. It was the eastern joining point of New York's major commuter railway lines. So from Queen Central, you could take a train to Westchester and Connecticut, Long Island, World Trade Center in Brooklyn, or Penn Station, all through this unique state-of-the-art 22-track hub. And these, this gives a more over, like better picture of where all the lines go. So you could take subway to Midtown East. It serves the E, G, M, R, and seven lines. I've made some modifications to the seven line alignment but all those lines will still serve Queen Central. Also the train to Penn Station in New Jersey, train to Brooklyn and World Trade Center and then obviously New Jersey, and then all these places right here, they converge at Queen Central. So last video I made about Queen Central, I got a bit of criticism of my seven alignment and I like criticism. I was happy to help meet the needs of what the people live here like. I don't live in New York City, so I don't know full knowledge. And honestly, every project is teamwork. I need comments to help me make these proposals better. So the old alignment was routing the seven all the way parallel to the Long Island Railroad main line, just to be parallel to all the other tracks. And as you can tell, it would be extremely expensive, not to mention you would lose the Queensboro Plaza connection between the N and W trains and the 7 trains. That's actually used by quite a few commuters. So the new alignment, I've kept it on its initial viaduct and I would just extend Queen Central architecturally 
to get a new station over Queens Boulevard where the 7 train would be. So the station would just be built on the existing tracks. The canopy of the station will have to be built architecturally to unify this with the rest of the station and not feel it like it's a long transfer. But I think we have good enough architects in the 21st century that we can do that. So this is a new alignment. If you have any other recommendations for this, please leave this in the comments. I understand this was a very ambitious proposal. I may even consider downsizing it given I propose the Elmhurst connection between the Northeast Corridor and the Long Island Railroad main line, but I'll get to that later. So today I'm going to be talking about phase three, which is this right here. It involves increased internet connectivity with the Manhattan and surrounding counties, with direct train service from New England and Westchester counties to Eastern Long Island. This will be done by upgrading the tracks over the Hellgate Bridge in the Triborough area between Port Morris and Astoria, which would allow both Amtrak and Metro North trains to simultaneously run, directly connecting the northern suburbs with the eastern suburbs and allowing Metro North trains to go into Lower Manhattan or Penn Station and on to New Jersey. It will also involve the extension of Air Train LaGuardia to Queen Central Station. And much of this work will be taking place on existing track alignment. The only main new track that will have to be built is the tunnel from connecting Port Morris to Melrose Junction. Melrose Junction is where the Harlem and Hudson line split just north of the Harlem River Bridge. And this is a comparison of what was there before or currently actually and what this is after all four videos or three phases of Webio's master plan. And here's a master plan again. Today I'm going to be talking about this portion right here. Everything else was discussed in a previous video, so I'll keep a link to all of them in the description below. But I'm going to be talking about this connection right here between the Bronx and Queens as well as Air Train LaGuardia, which is this yellow right here. So today I'm going to be talking about Air Train LaGuardia to Queens Central. It will be on an elevated light rail viaduct similar to how Air Train JFK is run. Queen Central alignment will provide several transit options not found in Willets Point. Willets Point is several stations away from Manhattan via the 7 train and it only connects to one Long Island Railroad line known as the Port Washington branch. It does not connect to Amtrak or Metro North or any of the other services that would serve Queen Central or the direct connection that I'm going to be talking about as well. There's also going to be direct train service on the Bronx to Jamaica and beyond. So this will involve the operation of commuter and long distance trains on the New York Connecting Railroad between Astoria and Maspeth, which is near the Long Island Railroad main line. And as I said, the transfer station at Elmhurst will allow easy access to LaGuardia from Nassau and Suffolk as well as the Bronx, Westchester, Connecticut and beyond. Finally, this will connect all Metro North lines to the Northeast Corridor by the construction of a cut and cover tunnel from Melrose to Port Morris underneath Lower Bronx. And this will enable direct access from Harlem and Hudson lines to Queens and Long Island, Penn Station, and my Lower Manhattan Rail Tunnel I proposed two web years ago. So the rolling stock that will be used is an automated light rail for the air train LaGuardia. So this will be a two train EMU train powered by third rail similar to air train JFK. The top speed will be 55 miles per hour in straight sections which will be above the Grand Central Parkway. The Metro North Railroad will utilize EMU switchers. So these will resemble Metro North's M8 rail cars in which these switchers can easily adapt to the differences in power delivery systems across New York metropolitan area. They'll have a top speed of 100 miles per hour. For the Amtrak and New Jersey Transit diesel trains, for example, the ones coming from way from like Putnam and Dutchess County, as well as the west of Hudson lines, they'll be diesel electric switchers. So they'll have built in diesel engines and electric switching capabilities to enable seamless transportation without extensive catenary upgrades in rural lines. So these won't involve having to construct long third rails or long catenaries in rural lines that may not see as much service as more busy segments. They will also have a top speed of 100 miles per hour. 
So with that out of the way, let's go to Google Earth and actually show you the proposals. So the air train LaGuardia is this dark orange line right here. It will start in the northernmost two platforms of Queen Central Station and continue east directly north of the main alignment. It will be on a viaduct going over the 39th Street Bridge and over 37th Avenue right here. It will then deviate from the alignment to the north and actually cross so that it goes directly on top of the northeast corridor. This junction right here is where the Long Island Railroad trains deviate to the south to Woodside and beyond while the Amtrak trains and in the future Metro North trains will go to the north to the Bronx and Westchester. The air train will go onto a, onto a suspended vi uh, viaduct, rather not suspended, just a regular viaduct on top of these two tracks here. The type of pillar will be an upside down U shape so it will not disrupt the trains below all that much. The U will be relatively wide so that it will allow future possible provisions to upgrade to four tracks. The air train will then turn to the right and go on top of 31st Avenue and have a stop in Elmer's Junction. So imagine a uh, air train being on top of all of this, on top of the Brooklyn Queens Expressway and this track right here. This track is where the connecting trains from the Metro North to Long Island will be. So this will be a transfer station. The main line will have four tracks and the air trains will have two tracks. And as I said, it will be elevated at a higher level. This will allow passengers from the northern suburbs and Long Island to easily connect to the air train going to LaGuardia without having to pass through Queens Central. So after Elmer's Junction, the viaduct carrying the air train will continue. It goes over this junction right here and it continues just to the east of the Brooklyn Greens Expressway right on top of Booty Street. And Booty Street again, it will be an upside down new shape support. So the street below will still be spared of complete destruction. It's similar to how many subway lines in New York's smaller streets are built. So like the elevated lines. So this will then go over the Grand Central Parkway and onto a new alignment to the north of the Grand Central Parkway. And this will still be elevated. Now this is where I get a little concerned because this is the end of the run runway 4 in LaGuardia Airport and once you build a viaduct 20 feet tall with trains extended 30 to 40 feet tall there could actually be quite a big of an impact. So if this is not enough for planes I may very well reroute this air train alignment to the median of the Grand Central Parkway but as of now I think this should be good enough. The runway is decently long enough and LaGuardia does not serve wide body planes which require much more takeoff distance than narrow body planes. So then the track simply goes to LaGuardia West and then LaGuardia East. The new LaGuardia will have a unified terminal which is located right next to Grand Central Parkway, much close than where this is currently. And this will connect to Governor Cuomo's existing air train LaGuardia proposal to Willets Point. I'm not a big fan of Cuomo's proposal just because Willets Point, while it has a lot of parking and it is a tourist destination in its own right, it does not connect to many transportation options in the New York metropolitan area. It's really only good for people going to the Flushing area and beyond on the Port Washington branch. For pretty much everybody else, it'll be easier to take the air train to Elmer's Junction or Queen Central to get their trains to further destinations. This right here is a location where the Amtrak and Metro North trains headed to the Bronx and beyond will leave the Long Island Railroad main line. This is located in between Forest Hills and Woodside stations. So those trains will go onto a viaduct and each of these viaducts will be located between their directional tracks as in between the two westbound tracks and then between the two eastbound tracks. So there may have to be some widening to be done and some of these properties may be a bit compromised but this portion right here should have enough room to allow this. So trains coming from both the express tracks and the local tracks can connect to this right here. And this viaduct will go to the New York Connecting Railroad. 
Now I said I'm not a big fan of upgrading lines in rural areas, but this is not a rural area. So I think electrifying this right here will be worth it. And this right here is part of the New York Connecting Railroad. So the New York Connecting Railroad was a railroad that initially connected the Northeast Corridor all the way down to Bay Ridge in Brooklyn. But currently it's not used anymore. It's an abandoned freight line. So this is an excellent opportunity to allow this for almost a perimeter metro setup between the Bronx and Queens without having to spend too much money as the alignment is already there. So it'll have its first stop at Maspeth. Maspeth will have four tracks and two side platforms. They're the two side platforms will serve the Metro North trains which will stop here and the Amtrak trains will pass through here. Also all trains on the Port Washington branch will stop here as well. This portion right here is where I plan the parking lot to be but there seems to be some type of business right here. So we'll have to see how that goes. And I don't envision that many people to park and ride at this station either. It's going to be mostly a transfer and maybe a bus terminal at most. So then the two track alignment will continue on the New York Connecting Railroad with its next stop at, you guessed it, Elmer's Junction. Elmer's Junction will have four tracks on this level in addition to the two on the air train as I talked about, but this will have two island platforms and this is because the Amtrak trains will stop here as well. There's a good chance people coming from decently far distances will want to fly out of LaGuardia, so this is why I'm making Amtrak trains stop here as well. They have this easy transfer to the air train which will take them to LaGuardia in minutes. After that, the New York Connecting Railroad rejoins the Northeast Corridor and the northbound trains will go here and the southbound trains would come on this viaduct right here. And this portion right here only has three tracks. It used to have four and it's still designed for four but only two tracks are in use. The third track is abandoned and the fourth track has been completely removed. So I'm going to rebuild the fourth track, upgrade the three track and this will be a full four track line and it will be electrified via overhead wires. It will continue above this viaduct here to Astoria. Astoria serves the Astoria neighborhood which is pretty densely populated and it's not served well besides one subway line which serves the NNW trains going south. So this will allow more commuting options for people in Astoria. This will be like the Maspeth station in which it will be two side platforms with the Amtrak trains passing through. These trains will then go over the Hellgate bridge right here. And fun fact, the Hellgate bridge is actually the inspiration to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So this may look like a miniature Sydney Harbour Bridge. Well that's because, well it was a precluder. Now granted the Sydney Harbour Bridge is quite a bit more stunning given its surroundings than the Hellgate Bridge, but there's no doubt this is an engineering marvel. And the fact that this exists shows that you need to use existing infrastructure as much as possible to maximize your transportation system's efficiency. So this will continue into the Bronx with a stop at Port Morris. Port Morris will be a local station with two side plan, actually four tracks stopping and two tracks going through. This will be a little different. This is a six track station. The two innermost tracks will be Amtrak trains. They will pass through. And I'm actually reconsidering whether Amtrak trains should stop here because it's actually a pretty good area. It's located near the Brunker Expressway as well as connections to all three Metro North lines. But as of now, I'm keeping it a local station with six tracks and two island platforms located in between the outer tracks. So the outermost tracks will serve trains going to the New Haven line and the, you know, the outer middle rather will go into the tunnels serving the Harlem and Hudson lines. And the Amtrak trains going to Connecticut and beyond will be on the inner two tracks and not stop here. So after that, this will be a deviation right here. I'm going to talk about the station upgrades on this right he here later on. But first, let's go through the connecting tunnel. So there will be a two-track tunnel diverging from the Northeast Corridor line just north of Port Morris Station. And it will be a cut-and-cover tunnel 
underneath East 149th Street. Now a cut and cover tunnel is basically when you build a trench, you lay a tunnel in it and then you fill that trench up. And it'll be much more cost effective than building a full tunnel boring machine tunnel because it's not as intensive to construct. It's just you build, you just dig the pit, you build the train tracks in it. I know that's kind of a bad analogy, but I hope you understand that. So the reason I am not making this go via the Melrose branch, and there's actually a abandoned railway branch. You can almost make it out right here. It goes under this park here and continues up like this and rejoins the Harlem line. The reason I'm not doing that is because there have been some buildings right here, some new buildings that have been constructed just south of 156th Street that preclude any reinstation of service along this portion. In addition, there would still have to be a decently long tunnel connecting this to the Hudson Line. So I thought it was worth it to just build an entirely new tunnel which would be cut and cover under this. Now this parts of this cut and cover tunnel will have to be relatively deep because it will have to pass through some subway lines and my initial proposal had it to go under 149th Street the entire way. But the problem is the two and five trains go under this right here, so it wouldn't work. So this would just go to the south under 148th Street under the same cut and cover tun tunnel type. And it'll go into an underground Y junction with two tracks going to the Harlem line and two tracks going to the Hudson line. The total length of this tunnel is 1.8 miles. So it's pretty long, but most of it is cut and cover. So I do think it is pretty feasible to construct this given how many people and the connection opportunities that will come when constructing this. You're co connecting these people to Penn Station, Long Island and Lower Manhattan and one train service to New Jersey. So this portion right here is well worth it in my opinion. But if you have different opinions, please leave that in the comments. Now Metro North trains currently don't run on the Northeast Corridor but under my plan they will. So this is an alignment right here between three and four tracks currently only used by Amtrak. It is woefully underused. I think th there's definitely more capacity that can be added. So this will have three new stations at West Farms, Co-op City and Pelham Manor. So West Farms is a first station. It is located at the interchange of the Sheridan Expressway, the Bronx River Parkway and the Cross Bronx Expressway. So there will be a parking lot just to the southeast of West Farm Station which will allow drivers to easily park here and go to their trains to Queens or to Manhattan and beyond without having to brave the George Washington Bridge and other New York crossings. This will be a local station with two side platforms. All the trains will continue along this alignment until the next station at Co-op City which is located at the intersection of the Hutchinson Railway Parkway, the River Parkway rather, I keep saying railway a lot, the Hutchinson River Parkway as well as the Bruckner Expressway. This is Co-op City. Co-op City is a huge cooperative development with a po huge population. I believe it is nearly 80, 90,000. It's one of the biggest cooperative developments in the entire world and it's located right here. It's a huge resident pool and these people will finally have a much easier time going to New Jersey or Long Island or not to mention going into Westchester and beyond. Ironically, no Amtrak trains stop here. I'm kind of surprised because there's a huge population here and driving on Interstate 95 or the Hutchinson River Parkway could be a nightmare. So then these tracks will continue. It's two tracks here, but I don't think that will be too much of a problem for co-running the Metro North and Amtrak lines on this. And the final station is Pelham Manor located in the suburb of the same name. And it will serve these people right here, as well as people from Mount Vernon and Pelham Village itself to Long Island and New Jersey. And this will rejoin at Shell interlocking with the existing Metro North New Haven line and through New Rochelle and beyond. So there you have it my friends, the entire master plan of modernizing New York's commuter rail system, upgrading the Hudson River tunnels, connecting Penn Station with Grand Central and the existing 
construction of east side access, allowing much more capacity to run between Queens through Manhattan and into New Jersey. It also involves the construction of this connecting railway line right here through Lower Manhattan into a unified rail hub at Queens Central. Finally, Airtrain LaGuardia will be extended to meet these new expanded lines and stations as well as a new connection between the Bronx and Long Island. I hope you enjoyed this. It has been a pleasure to make this series of videos and it took me an entire summer basically to do this, but I think it's worth it. I live not too far from New York City, probably an hour and 20 minutes, so I know the city pretty well and I think this is a reasonably feasible project to do. Now granted there are expensive portions, for example the Lower Manhattan Rail Tunnel, but besides that most of this takes place on existing tracks, which is the best part. Trains coming from all over can take you basically anywhere, and New York's rail infrastructure will allow this with relative ease. Now this is a mega project and there are lots of stages to be overcome when constructing this. So please give your comments and please like if support not just this in particular but just support modernizing New York's rail infrastructure both the subway and the commuter rail they're outdated poorly maintained we need them better maintained and expanded and this is the culmination of how I think about this problem so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this I'll see you guys soon goodbye